welcome to my channel in this video we will see how to apply actions on top of this table visual which we created in the last session so to do this uh, I am going to create one more visual by duplicating it so in this instead of department let me actually uh, okay let me remove this so instead of department I'm going to go with the business unit so now my intention is whenever I click a specific okay department accounting I must see all the business unit under that and also the breakdown of salary pertaining to the accounting department so to do this uh, we have to actually click this and then okay format visual so you will see like there are two tabs visual and interaction so we will go under the interactions tab and okay we will click add action under the action so okay we can give any name so now i'm going to say this as okay select department okay so in this uh, there are actually two options under activation select and menu option so i'm going to go with the select option so in the filler action in the action type we have filter action since we want to actually filter all the okay business unit under this accounting department and also show only the salary pertaining to those okay business unit under the accounting department we have to use the filter option so also the filter scope will be all fields because irrespective of whether i select accounting or annual salary it will consider this entire row so i am going to set this scope as all fields and uh, target visual is going to be the salary by department also if we have more than one visual in this sheet then we can go for all visuals uh, for now we have only one visual so i'm actually going to retain this option all visuals itself let me save this so once i save this now okay let me close this okay so you will see under accounting we have okay around 11.8 million total annual salary and also we can see the breakdown now let me go to finance finance as 14 okay sales yeah so we can actually see the individual breakdown under okay each of the departments and the respective business unit so maybe let's do one more okay uh, action so in this case i'm going to duplicate this visual so over here okay let me also include this ethnicity okay it's to do this let me draw this here and i will remove the business unit i can actually write you click on the corporate business unit and understand the ethnicity of the people over there so uh, let's see to do this again right i can go click the format visual and add action so this time i'm going to say like select okay business unit and also the activation is going to be select and the filter scope should be uh, all fields and target visual should be salary by department okay so let me actually close this because we have one confusion because we didn't change the name here so let me actually change the name and come back so for this okay first uh, this is salary by business unit so let me change this to salary by business unit okay say this and this is salary by ethnicity right we can also double click and we can actually change the title so let me say this now okay my uh, goal is to create action based on the click i made here the other two visuals should be actually shortlisted so to do this i go to the interactions add action i will say this select okay 
bu and then i will retain all the options same and then okay select visuals i can either okay uh, if i want to only you know like shortlist ethnicity based on this selection then i will actually select salary by ethnicity if i want to uh, shortlist the records based on the marking that i do in this second table which is sales by business unit uh, then i have to click okay all visuals so yeah let me actually save this now let's check it out okay now corporate if i see this is the distribution of the ethnicity and special products yeah research manufacturing yep this is how we create the actions for the visuals in the quick site so to deselect right uh, i need to actually click again on the part i clicked here similarly to deselect this again i will be clicking so now we get the total values so everywhere it is like 113 million okay so this is um, the way uh, we will do cross filtering across the visuals in the quick site so now let's uh, work on okay dates to do this i'm actually creating uh, one more okay sheet and uh, i'm going to retain the default options here and then in the next i'm going to actually you know add a table visual so since i'm going to work on the dates right i feel okay table visual will be good to explain this so now here i want to actually add the total headcounts for each okay dates so here in our left side we can see higher date this is going to be my uh, field for the group by and uh, in the right okay that is in the value i'm actually going to give the count of employee id so yeah i will try again once more yep so now i'm going to give this as okay so it doesn't make sense actually right to view for each date what is the you know count of the employee id uh, so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually aggregate use this aggregate option in the date column and then let me actually change it to month i want to see month wise the head count so we can see now the, dis the distribution let me also sort this okay sort order let it be in the uh, descending so we can see the latest the last date that we have in our data set is 2021 so in december 2021 okay uh, they have hired okay seven employees and yep quarter we get okay this kind of okay aggregations available for the dates even we can do date wise so let me select so even we can do year wise in this format in this manner so yeah 2021 we had hired actually 85 employees 2022 66 employees now uh, let me try to change the field names currently the field names are quite misleading this i call it as headcount okay and this one i call it as year that should be fine okay and also the title we can change it by just double clicking this one i call it as headcount okay by year okay uh this should be pretty much what we need now let's try to do one uh act activity on top of this so yeah so for that 
okay i'm going to use department under each department right i want to actually filter through actions and see what is the headcount across the years to do it we can actually uh, add one more table visual so that's this is the second table visual let me reduce the size of this i think this should be fine so now in this i'm going to add the department okay sorry i'm going to add the department so now we have the list of all the unique departments right so let me uh, have this as a filter so a little bit okay so in this i'm going to add interaction and then next action this action is going to be again i can say like select department okay select a uh, visual i can say it count by here and click save so now when i click accounting then we can see in accounting year wise distribution of the head count in engineering yeah we can see the year wise distribution finance and so on and so forth so so this is how right actually we work with the dates and then right we can use the action to filter one visual based on the selection or the marking we make in the other visual so now let's see uh, about the last thing that is the uh, conditional formatting so let's okay do this conditional formatting on this headcount by year visual so to do this i have to select this and okay i can go to this format visual at last you will see conditional formatting so here i have to select the column so in this case i am going to select head count so here uh, there are actually three options okay we can uh, do formatting on the background or we can change the text color or we can add the icons so now i am going to change the uh, head count uh, background based on uh, some condition okay so let's say like okay yeah, to add a condition okay we have to just click on this add background color then you will see this options so the fill type is there are actually two solid and gradient so gradient if i choose it will be asking like which field i should base uh base this on so i can actually select employee id count distinct then okay min value what should be the color and max value what should be the color let me okay give for the min value uh maybe a red color and for the max value green color yeah let's apply this so now we can see that okay the values that are close to this okay some are close to okay 18 or all in the shades of um yeah green little shade of green the color mix between this red and green and okay the values that are actually very close towards the minimum are actually in the red color so this is how we actually do gradient based okay conditional formatting now let's do solid uh, fill type formatting for this right we need to give condition so first we select the field for which okay we are going to do this condition anyways right we already selected that as the employee id count should be distinct and the condition should be like anything that is greater than or equal to okay that's what it is greater than or equal to 15 let's say we show it in the green color okay and uh, we can add one more condition anything that is between okay 10 to okay 14 we will show it in yellow color 
and whatever is okay less than or equal to 9 I'm going to show in red color let me click apply so this is how the logic works now we can do conditional formatting also based on the text or uh, color option so to do this right i am actually deleting this i'm clicking add text and now here i can actually use either solid or gradient uh, i think solid works well with the text based conditional formatting again format field is based on employee id aggregation is based on count distinct and the condition the same condition greater than or equal to whatever is greater than or equal to 15 i am going to show in green font another condition whatever is between okay 10 to 14 i am going to show in a maybe like a dark yellow font or maybe orange and then okay whatever is less than or equal to 9 I am going to show in red color so this is how actually right uh, we do for the yeah font color change change by using conditional formatting okay so now I will clear this last option I want to actually show is add icon so here also right the same okay aggregation will choose for this field and then the icon set uh, we can actually show okay this one so greater than anything greater than okay 15 we will show up anything between 10 to 14 okay so this is greater than so i will say like anything between okay 10 to 15 will show this color and anything less than okay 10 will show red color uh yeah we have option to show only icon uh yeah let me show only for the red ones okay click apply you can see right for the red we are seeing only the icons for the but however okay we never do this let's okay standardize this yeah this is how it works so now that we have seen actually right all the three options in the conditional formatting and also right we have seen almost all the options for this table visual uh, in the format visual icon so next thing we will focus on is pivot tables so we will see in pivot tables uh, how to create a pivot table what are the different properties available in the pivot table that are unique from the table visual in the next video